This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by time. If you've watched some of my other videos, you may have noticed I've shown you lots of different ways to subtract numbers. I'm going to show you my favorite way that I learned um, many years ago from somebody in their 70s at that time. This is the way they always learned how to subtract. So here's how it goes. Let's take the number, let's say 861 minus 358, let's say. Okay, here's the first thing that's different. You do not put the line here, okay? What you have to do is you have to leave space to put other numbers here. Now this way we're going to subtract does not require the usual borrowing but in a way you are borrowing. So here's how it works. It's still a right to the left. So I say I can't do 1 minus 8. Normally you have to borrow. So you know the usual way you can you know, cancel out that 6 and put a 5. Instead what we do, it's a lot less messy. So I'm going to use a different color so you can see what's going on. I'm going to make that 11 minus 8. If you change this and add a 1, you put the same 1 down here. What I'm really doing is I'm adding a 10, right, to that 1, and I'm going to subtract a 10 later, okay? But it's not messy. You can see all the numbers still. So now I could do 11 minus 8, or if you like prefer, you could say, well, what plus 8 is 11? In any case, my answer down here is going to be 3, okay? Now, what do I do with these three numbers? Okay, what I'm really doing now is I'm doing 6 minus 6. Okay, so that 1 gets added to the 5. That gets subtracted from the 6. Or you could say 6 plus what equals 6. Well, no matter how you think of that, that's going to give you a 0. Okay, and then 8 minus 3 is 5. So the answer to this problem is 503. Now here's one reason I really like it. It's really easy to check. You just add up. 3 and 8 is 11. 0, 1, and 5 is 6. 5 and 3 is 8. And you're done. Let's just try another one. Let's do 6, 0, 5, 2, minus 1, 4, 8, 7. And I'm going to leave space. I'm going to use a different color again. So I can't do 2 minus 7. I don't know why that happened. Just a second. So I have to, you know, normally borrow. You can do make that a 12, but to make that a 12 you have to put the 1 down here. And so I have to do 12 minus 7 or what plus 7 is 12, that's going to be a 5. And I can't do 5 minus 9. Remember this 1 that I'm adding here? I'm really doing 5 minus 9. By the way, some people put a dot or something else. It doesn't really matter. It just means you have to add 1 to that digit, whatever it is. So 5 minus 9, can't do that. So I need to put a 1 and another 1 down here. Now I could do 15 minus 9, or I could say 9 plus what equals 15. In any case, that's going to be 6. All right. I can't do 0 take away anything, so I'm going to have to do this one more time. Good grief. What's going on with this? Sorry. Here we go. So I have 10 minus 5, right? Or 5 plus what is 10? That'll be a 5. And this kind of went in a funny place. That should have been right there. And now I do 6 minus 2, or 2 plus what is 6? 4. And here's the check. 5 and 7 is 12. 6, 1, and 8, that adds up to 15. 5, 1, and 4, that adds up to 10. 4, 1, and 1 is 6. So for every one you put up here that you're going to need, you have to put another one to the left and below that digit. How about one more? And I bet you're going to have it. Let's go up a little. My favorite way. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do red for fun. How about 3, 2, 1, 9, minus 1, 4, 7, 3. Okay, again, remember to leave that little space. So let's do it. 9 minus 3 I can do, no problem, that's 6. 1 minus 7 can't do, so I need to put the 1 and the 1 down here. Now 11 minus 7 is 4. 
I can't do 2 minus 5. Remember that? That makes it a 5. So I have to put the 1 and 1 here. 12 minus 5. Or if you want, you think 5 plus what is 12. That's going to give you 7. And then 3 minus 2, right, is 1. Easy check. 1 and 1 and 1 is 3. 7, 1 and 4 is 12. 4 and 7 is 11. And 6 is 3 and 9. So now you know your math gal's favorite way to subtract. I even do this in my checkbook. Have fun. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.